Hi guys, I am on my way to the store. I'm going to grocery outlet, so I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm not gonna get a lot of stuff. Um, uh, Dante's coming back uh, tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to get some lump crab because I'm gonna make some make them some crab cakes. But guess what? I'm let me back up. Guess what I'm gonna get? Hold on, you guys. Okay, guys. My little beeper is going off so I can put this seat belt on. I'm going to um, get some, probably a roast and uh, sear it. And I don't know if I'm gonna put it in a, in a slow cooker or am I going to, um, these people here. Or if I'm going to uh, put it in the oven. Um, when we were, um, if you guys seen that video, uh, you guys got my little half wig on. If you've seen that video when we had dinner at Miss Banks' house, you know, I think the next time we do dinner at Miss Banks' house, I think I'm gonna film a little bit in there so you guys can kind of see what we do, you know, um, take you guys along with me. I'll show you what I make before I go, but I'm gonna probably, uh, you know, take you guys with me so you guys can see what everybody makes and what we do and how we just kind of sit and um, congregate and, and love on Miss Banks or whatever. She really enjoys um, when we go in. For you guys that have not seen the other videos, Miss Banks is one of my good girlfriend, sister friends, mothers, uh, who her, uh, she, my friend, she passed away. And so um, we just kind of, you know, the, don't want to leave her over there just feeling bad by herself or whatever and you know we need to love on our um our older people my mother's no longer here you know so for um you know people that still have their mother's love on them but you know we just kind of go over there and then she just she just really you know she probably could care less if we bring the food or not she just likes <laughs> that we're over there she just enjoys company you know and um so when we had went over there, uh, my other sister friend had made a roast, which was delicious. And I didn't get a lot of it. So I only got like a couple, the, whoever the lady was that was making the plates, man, she she was putting uh, just a little bit of roast over there. I, was, I called my friend, I said, girl, I want that roast was delicious. I really wanted some. She said, oh, you could have got some more. She said it was some left. I said, oh, I didn't know that. I thought, she was kind of rationing it out. But anyway, I have been wanting some roast since then. Um, I don't really, I used to make it all the time, you know, for like Sunday dinners and everything. I don't make it as much anymore because of, you know, Dante, he does not eat uh, red meat. And so um, sometimes I have a steak or whatever for myself or whatever, but he doesn't eat red meat at all. So I hate making a whole roast and, um, you know, I guess I could freeze some of it or whatever, but I just hate making a whole roast and if it's just and it's just me or whatever. But I have been wanting that roast since she made it. So I am going to, along with the crab cakes, I am going to see if they have a roast here. Cause I'm not going to a like a big box store, a big a big store, a big grocery store. I'm going to my old favorite grocery outlet to see if they have a roast. Uh, Cause he's still not here, but uh, I'm gonna just make, I'm just gonna make it and if I, I know I have some left. I'll try to get a small one. I can make like some um, some tacos out of it after you know I eat it or whatever. But I have been having a taste for that roast ever since then. So that's what I'm going to the store to get, and and the crab beets. And then um, I am also cleaning my refrigerator. Um, I try to do that every every you know I try to kind of keep it okay, but it's a mess right now. So I am. Um, I've, took, I've taken everything off the door and stuff, and I think I'm gonna bring you guys up so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to just clean it up, you know, how you go through it and kind of um, look, you know, make sure every, whatever is expired, you just kind of get rid of it or whatever. So I'm doing that. And then, so some stuff I threw away what, you know, I threw away and um, I just stopped because I, got, I was late when I was doing it. So I'll probably finish that today or whatever. So it don't be such a mess in that kitchen when, uh, D comes home so I am almost at the grocery outlet so give me a second I'm going across the Hungary Park and then I'll bring you guys back up oh y'all something is going on over here um, they got the police they almost have to come away they got the roads blocked off 
so I can't go left if I want to, but the uh, grocery outlets are right up here to the right. They got, yeah, the roads are blocked off. They got tow trucks and everything. Something going on over here, child. I don't know what it is. And this is Sunday. Oh, yeah, they got emergency one, everything. I hope nobody got hurt. Yeah, so. Okay, guys. I am parked. Put my hat down or whatever. Going in here, just grab a few things. All right, I'll take y'all with me. Okay, guys, hold on. Let me turn this camera around. So you guys see we got grocery out. There it is. Take a picture of that sign. And I wanted to show you guys my car. Dante had got hit. I thought I had showed you guys before. And it is since, look at that. You see that? Look how bad that is. It's horrible. Doesn't look like a lot. I hate driving it, but I didn't want to drive the big truck. Look at that. It looks bad. So, um, we had, he had got hit when he was at the mall and, um, you know, we already got the money for the, the lady didn't have insurance. She had, uh, what did she have that she pretended like she had insurance. She gave Dante, um, the wrong information. What is it called? You know, that some want that warranty thing, but anyway, so we got it taken care of under uninsured motorist um, that we pay for. We got the check and everything already, but everything is so backed up with these companies. We have been waiting almost two months to get our car fixed. We have um, appointments, but everything's backed up like a couple months, you know, even though we, so we got the check from the um, insurance company. So we just waiting for to get in. So let's go in here. These these you know these little uh, baskets never turn right, Lord. Just like the ones at Walmart. Okay, you know I always look over here at the coffees. Let me grab me. Oh, they're so high here. See that's why I don't be buying them here because they're so high. Oh, you guys look, they got my chicken. They got my chicken that I already gave. It's a little bit more. It used to be um, for this pack, about five or six bucks. It's, it's like eight seventy now. So I'm gonna grab a couple of those. Um, let me put my purse down. Okay guys, I did grab two of those. And I was looking at these New York steaks for me. I'm gonna grab, let me see what are they. they don't cost that much. I'm gonna grab one of these just in case I can't find a roast because if they're just some New York, yeah, just probably the two packs cool. And I'm just gonna grab that just in case I can't find a roast here. Only thing about here, I like to buy organic, and most time you can't find organic here. So, oh, they got my favorite. The um, you guys know I always when I come here I always look to see um, their salmon, and so for the coho. It is 11, let me see, 11.99 a pound. I'll register one, please. And, I don't know how much that is. Oh, that's 10 bucks for that. Reduce for quick sell. All this is reduced, they're all 10 bucks a piece. Reduce for quick sell, that means cook it right now. Cook it today. And then, here's my steel head that I love. I probably, should I grab that? No, you know what, I'm waiting to Dante get here, you know because I am going to make the crab cakes first. So, give me a second. Okay, guys, I was looking at this Prego Artesian. I always make my own uh, homemade Alfredo sauce, but this would kind of be cool just to have in a cabinet on a day that you don't feel like making nothing. And it's uh, $2.49. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I don't know how much it usually costs. And then look at these frogs. These are so cute, you guys. To put in your garden. Let me see how much of these. How much of that? They're twelve ninety nine. They're so cute. I love like little frogs, you know, for the garden. Now I don't like real frogs in the garden, but you know. Okay, guys, I'm grabbing a couple of these uh, cotton rounds. I got one of those, and then I got one of those up there. They're only like a dollar something. Okay, guys, I had to get from over there where you could hear the music really good. But look what I got. I got this. 
which is a cup. They're $8.99 a piece. And then I got this one. I love that color. Don't need them. I said I wasn't going to buy no more because I got rid of a lot of them. But oh, I can't pass it up. But um, I had to throw one of my mustards away because, or two of my mustards away. So I'm going to grab some more deli mustard, which is $1.99. And that Grey Poupon is $1.99 also. And I, 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 there was nothing real. I just, because it was the expiration date, I always seem to throw stuff away. Okay, guys, I'm going to grab some olives. See, there are $1.99 here. Um, the bigger one is $3.99. You remember, I used, when I did that board, I used all my olives, so I'd like to have them all always on hand. Let me see. Do I want the big one? Let me see how big this is. Oh, and they seem to be bigger. I oh, know, I don't want no big olives. So let me grab the regular size one for $1.99. Oh, let me show you this too. I grabbed um, one of these trivets. You guys see it's $2.50. And I don't use it as a trivet. I got plenty of trivets. See that, that texture? I use it to clean my makeup brushes. Um, let me get some pickles because I use most of my pickles, not my bread and butter pickles, but my dill pickles. I had used them. That's exactly the ones I want. Kosher dill, don't know how much. I think they're $2.49. Yeah, they're $2.49. I used them um, on that board I made. So I'm going to grab some of these because I only have like a few left. So let me see. Um, I don't need any hot sauce or anything. Let me look at the oils to see what oils they got. They got roasted garlic olive oil. They got, uh, which is $12.99. Uh, it's a pretty big one. Don't need any olive oil, but for the rice vinegar, it's $2.29. This is the brand that I use, the Star. Um, the red wine vinegar is $1.99, I still have plenty. And that's the Star brand. Also, oh, let's see, grapeseed oil. Oh, amazing price. This big thing, which is how many ounces? 32 ounces, is only $6.99 here. I, I use, I kind of got away from using the grapeseed oil as much. I use the avocado oil more than anything. Um, I don't think I have any grape, I think I'm out of grapeseed oil. I don't think I really need it. Um, yeah, I use the olive oil actually more than anything now. Not the olive oil, the olive oil I do still use, but I use the avocado oil more than anything and the extra virgin olive oil but most mostly the avocado oil um they don't have any big jugs like for if i wanted to fry something they've been out of that lately you know what they got they got old school crisco tub but that is the i, I do use that when i bake you see that and they, they got it for 4.99 hold on you guys i was looking for some roma tomatoes they are all out 99 cent a pound so I might grab some of these on the vine which are 199 a pound hey guys they do have bananas 64 cent a pound when they're organic are 89 cent a pound so I'm gonna grab some of those I like them when they're kind of green I don't like the button these are overly ripe so those are not anything good for some but some banana bread so let me grab some of these banana peas. let me get the organic okay guys I'm gonna show you a few things I got I got some um, pecans you know what, I have to wait. Music just came back on. Okay guys, so I got some pecans. I need some of those and these are like five bucks a piece and you get eight ounces. They say it's two cups, but it is actually not two cups. It's actually, if you read it, it's, it says two cups, but it's eight ounces. And then I got um, some cheese. I usually grate my own cheese, but I do like to have that on hand just in case. Like I said, it's not meant for me to do the crab cakes because there's no crab in here and it's not meant for me to do the roast. There's no roast here. Uh, and then I got some of these. Let me know if you guys tried these energy drinks V8 black cherry. I got that for Dante. And then I got me Old Faithful, the uh, Red Bull watermelon. Okay, guys, I'm checking out. I'll let you guys know what I got when I get in the car. Okay, guys. And then I say a few things and then I get too much stuff. Okay, let's get to the back of my car. I'll show you guys. Okay, guys, when I got in there, it was hardly nobody in there. But now it's packed in there. And so I did get, like, like I said, I couldn't find the roast. 
I did get two of those packages of chicken. I got the two steaks since I could not get the roast or the crab cakes. I did want to surprise them. I guess I can go to another store. I really didn't feel like it. Um, got the pickles. That's just some soup. And I had to throw my cilantro away. So you, so I had to get some more cilantro and to show you what I did get. I've never seen that. I'll take and try those with this coffee chocolate cover nut of butter. Got some cheeses and I, go, I grabbed some salad. It's a quick little Caesar chopped salad. And then I did grab Dante his, um, he loves these with his coffee, these croissants, but I figure I can make some, I got him some some smoked turkey. I can make some uh, sandwiches with that. Yeah, the music kept coming on. It was loud, then it was low, then it was loud. Then a lot of people was in there. I got like three, I like these are little Cracker, um, these are always $1.99 there. These different uh, Cracker Barrel cheeses and I can make those for the board. So that that's why I spent like $242. And the reason why I did, I figured so I could have the stuff you know probably some more stuff don't have to run out and get but let me, let me show you what i want to show you guys um there's a those are my uh the red bull and then that one v8 never tried that at all but look i got these you guys i've never seen these little packages, but i guess they do have them so i figured individual package to put on our salad so i just it was like six for a dollar so i grabbed some of those and I always grab a thing of sour cream and um, I got some, I don't know this company, whoever this is, Zoe's Applewood Uncured Bacon. Got that for me. And then this is what, okay, there's the other chicken, but, but oh, then I grabbed some smoked turkey s sausage, um, which was only like, I think $2.49. Uh, a little bit of salami. You know, I always make those salami, excuse me, roses. Now this is what I wanted to show you guys. Um, this God Charles bacon is some of the best turkey bacon out there. Usually on the West Coast they do not have it. Um, well, they did have it when we had a Sam's Club. And that's the only place you could get it uh, was Sam's Club. But I found that here, and Dante loves it. My, my one of my best friends, she loves it. When she goes to North Carolina, she actually brings it back to us because that's how good of a turkey bacon it is. So. I grabbed what they had. They only had three packets. So you guys see, I grabbed all three packets. I could put them in the freezer. But, because I really don't care for turkey bacon. I mean, I try, I really don't care for it. But this one, I will eat, okay? So you guys try that turkey bacon. It's, if you see it somewhere, grab it. Because it's hard to find on the West Coast. They do have it on the East Coast a lot. So, oh, hold on. Got another box down there. Okay, guys, got my trunk all packed up. I'm still contemplating if I should go and get the stuff for crab cakes or just wait for him to get here. Um, this is another box. And let me tell you why they put stuff in boxes because they charge us for uh, bags. Our bags, oh my purse. Our bags are, I think they're, are they 10 cent now? Eight or 10 cent, I can't remember. And um, some, yeah, some stores charge 10, some, some charge, stores charge eight cent. I did get those two th uh, drink things that I don't need. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two that I already have and donate them so I don't keep getting more stuff. So so that's if, I, if it comes in, I'm gonna donate something else. And then I did find this, I buy these so much, these little cheap things. This is just a car charger for $4.99. And um, that's it, this is just, they, okay, let me tell you about the boxes. So they give you the boxes because I, if anybody knows anything about um, businesses, um, when you have a business, it's the free, it's not free. Let me get in the car and I'll tell you guys. Okay guys, what I was talking about a business. If you have a business, um, it's not like homes. At home, you're, um, what do you call it? your recyclable well, on the west coast your recyclables are free um no matter what recyclables you do they pick them up and they do not charge you for that but anytime you have a business recyclables are not free so they have to pay <laughs> and so they you know the groceries and stuff grocers have a lot of different waste and a lot of different paper products and boxes and stuff so if they could pass the boxes along to us for free then that's less, you know, they, they don't have as much waste, you know what I'm saying? So they, they give us the boxes for free. So I just, use, I do use the boxes. Sometimes I want plastic. Um, 
usually especially when Dante is around I get boxes because he can carry them in because sometimes they do pack them a little bit too um a little bit too heavy okay I'm trying to get in the frame okay so I'm still contemplating on whether or not I'm going to go get the crab cakes and the roast I don't know but I'm going to end this video now so I just want to take you guys along with me um do a little bit of shopping um and I'm going to go home and finish cleaning that refrigerator because I got a lot of stuff like I said I only came to spend probably about 20 bucks but I ended up spending 242 dollars okay so I wanted to get I did, you know when you get in there you start seeing stuff and you got a basket you just start throwing it in a basket and I figure when we do uh, dinner at Miss Banks I'll have some of the stuff you know I got some crackers and stuff already and cheeses and everything and those cheeses um, they're vacuum sealed so they'll be okay you know if in a week's time or whatever and um, then I got some uh, like I said I got that chicken because you know they're always sold out of chicken I Dante said somebody might have got hit must have got hit because we used to come here and get the chicken wings for cheap and and all the time now they're always sold out okay so i don't know if i'm going to the store but anyway thanks you guys for coming along with me we're on our way we're almost at five thousand. so you guys if you're not subscribed i would like you to subscribe um like you know thumbs up the video say something give me a comment tell me if you guys go to a lot of people watch my videos of uh, uh, the grocery outlet videos because they used to be here and they're not and like wherever they're at they don't have like a grocery outlet they have an Aldi's though we do not have an Aldi's so I wish we had an Aldi's uh I always try to tell my uh my uh mother-in-law go to Aldi's and uh you know look for whatever and every time like if I tell her to go get something that I seen them advertise at Aldi's by the time she gets there honey they are sold out because Aldi's always has like a dupe for something okay but anyway thanks for coming along with me thanks for uh supporting me like comment share and subscribe you guys have a great day bye